The DJI M30T is finally here. Is it one of the most advanced drones we've ever seen? Spoiler alert, yes it is. We're gonna talk all about it, don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are talking about the DJI M30T. This is the brand new drone from DJI Enterprise. Everybody's really excited about it and for very good reason. Today what we wanted to do was talk through several of the key features of the drone. We also shot a lot of example video that we're gonna be showing you guys throughout. And I wanna to mention too, this is just a review of the DJI M30T. We're not comparing it to anything else. We're just gonna talk about this drone on its own merits. So let's get started. First up, let's talk about that thermal sensor. It is a beautiful 640 by 512 resolution. That's the highest you're gonna be able to get right now. That's the highest compared to any of the other drones out there. 640 by 512 is the standard. That's gonna give you accurate heat signatures from up at 400 feet. You can see from this footage, you are able to pick out that heat signature. You're able to tell, is that a person? Uh, whatever it is, I need to go inspect it further. So really great with this thermal and the fact that they're putting them on these drones now and making them more affordable is amazing, especially for search and rescue operations where thermal is really, really important. Next up, let's talk about that zoom range. The camera on this thing, the zoom lens is pretty remarkable. Here is some video. We're 42 miles out from Chicago and we're able to zoom all the way into the Sears Tower. So that shows you just how powerful uh, this little camera can be. It's got a 16 times optical zoom. It's got a 200 times digital zoom. So in that optical side, that one through 16, you are definitely gonna see a much better quality of the image because it's not being cropped in. Uh, it's not gonna be digitized. It is gonna be truly an optical zoom so you're going to get really good footage out of that now once you start going past 16 you're going to get up higher and higher you're going to get more digital breakup uh more noise in the picture it's not going to look quite as good but still being able to zoom that 200 times this drone has everything you need in terms of zoom range next up this drone has a laser rangefinder on it so pretty cool you're going to be able to point the drone wherever you want within a certain distance. You're gonna be able to point to something. It's gonna tell you the accurate GPS location of that structure. It's also gonna be able to tell you the height of that structure and how far it is away from the drone. So that is a really neat feature with this drone is to have that laser range finder on there. Uh, it's just gonna give you more situational awareness. It's gonna allow you to keep track on certain points that you wanna to go to and have the actual GPS locations of those points. So a very, very useful tool here with that laser range finder. Okay, let's talk about flight time. DJI says that the drone is gonna get about 41 minutes of flight time, that is in ideal conditions. In our testing, we're really getting about 35 minutes of flight time. DJI says you'll get about 35 minutes out of hover time, and in our testing, we got about 31 minutes in hover time. Uh, so still, really great flight time for this drone. It does take the two batteries to operate, so keep that in mind. One of the benefits of this drone is that it actually gives you four recordings when you're done. So not only are you gonna get your color camera, your wide angle camera, but you're also gonna get your zoom camera. You're also going to get your thermal camera. The fourth one is kind of a mix where it's actually showing the way you switched on your remote control in this one file. So if you switched over to thermal, that's what you're gonna see. If you switch back over to the wide angle camera. So those four recordings are really handy because say you're flying and you're looking at your color camera and you see something. Well, later on, you can go back and look at that thermal image as well to overlay it and to take a look and see what you see different from the naked eye to the thermal camera. The other thing I love about this drone is the locking arms. Yes, there's like a little plunger on each one of the arms that tell you if it's locked or not. This is a great feature and just for overall safety so that you don't get your drone up in the air and it comes tumbling out of the sky. And then you start crying because all of the money you spent on this drone is gone. Speaking of your drone being gone, I was just kidding. You actually get a year of DJI Enterprise Shield with this drone. So basically that's gonna cover you uh, for a couple of accidents. You don't wanna have those accidents. This is very much like a seat belt. You have it there uh, just because you want it there, just to be safe, but you never wanna have to use it. But you are covered for a full year and then you can renew it after that year as well. So that gives you a little bit of peace of mind when you're making a purchase this big. 
All right, next up, we want to talk about how this drone performs at night. We're not talking about thermal here. We just want to see how its camera, uh, the zoom camera, especially how it does in low light. Uh, so I'm outside here at night. Uh, sunset was around 830. It's a little after nine o'clock now. So I'm going to get the drone up in the air now and we're going to kind of see what we see uh, at nine o'clock at night at this time of year in the Midwest. Next up is deployment time. This is really important if you need to jump out of your squad car and get the drone up really, really quickly. And what we found is you can get the drone out of the box and up in the air in less than a minute. Well, you're seeing video of me doing it right now. I sped it up just a little bit for time, but it did take just about a minute for us to get this drone up in the air, which is a great turnaround time if you are in public safety and need to get the drone up in the air really, really quickly. Okay, let's talk about the smart controller. This thing is a beast and it is awesome. It's got buttons all over it, different functions that you can do. It's got a seven inch, really, really bright screen. So very, very nice smart controller. The buttons all over, it's gonna look a little confusing until you turn the remote on. Once you turn the remote on, you're gonna see exactly what each one of those buttons are labeled for. And you can remap some of those buttons as well. Uh, so the remote control on this is absolutely outstanding. You gotta get a lanyard for it though. The thing is pretty big. The last thing you'd want to do is drop this thing. I know DJI is coming up with a lanyard they're going to be releasing pretty soon, uh, but I would definitely suggest getting a lanyard for this smart controller because you do not want to drop it. Okay, speaking of that smart controller, you can also do dual controllers on this drone, meaning you can have two remotes. Both of them are linked to the same drone. One person can fly the drone using the FPV camera, so they're just, just using the FPV camera to fly. And the other person can actually control the gimbal with the zoom and the wide angle lens. So a very useful tool for search and rescue operations where one person can focus on just flying, the other person can just focus on trying to find whatever or whoever they are trying to find. This drone also has tracking, which is a really, really cool feature. You pull it up on the screen. Anything like a car or a human being is gonna have a little icon tap above their head. You just tap that little icon and the drone is gonna follow that person. Now you think you've seen this in other drones before and you have in like the Matrice 300 with the H20T, but it's not like active tracking with other DJI stuff. This camera will actually just use the zoom camera to track. So the drone stays exactly where it is, but it uses the zoom camera to go in and out and continue to track that object. So it could be a car going miles and miles away. If the drone is up high enough and there aren't a lot of trees around, the drone is gonna be able to follow that car with no problems, just using the zoom and not actually Actually having to send the drone out to follow the car itself. Okay, next up is the charging station. This thing is really great. It's small, it's compact. It can fit eight batteries at one time, as well as two of your remote control batteries. It's gonna take the two batteries that are the most charged and charge those up, top them off, then move on to the next two. Top those off, then the next two, top those off. What's really cool about this is that it not only has a regular charging mode, but it also has a quick charging mode, which will take those two batteries from about 10% up to 90% in less than a half an hour. So this battery station is a real key component to this entire kit and it comes with the DJI M30T. This drone is also RTK enabled. If you don't know what RTK means, it is real-time kinematics. But basically what it means is it's GPS on steroids. It is gonna give you centimeter level accuracy when you're flying your maps, when you're flying the drone. If you're flying around power lines, it's a great thing to have RTK just to make your flight extra, extra stable. So this drone is outfitted with RTK and it'll work with the DRTK2 base station from DJI. So if you're somebody that knows what RTK is and that's important to you, that's a really great feature of this drone. All right, now let's talk about the speed of this drone. DJI says it can get up to 51 miles an hour. We got it up to about 50 miles an hour and it has a wind resistance of 33 miles per hour. So we can handle some really stiff winds. Uh, sometimes with drones like this, you'll see them like if you were to just 
actually see them with a camera, they might look like they're tilted like this, but when you actually see the gimbal footage that comes out of it, it's going to be rock solid. Uh, but it's great that these drones can handle such high winds because in different parts of the country, you're gonna be facing high winds every single day. So that is a great feature of this drone. Next up is a good feature. You can go out, you can be flying this drone, say you're on a search and rescue mission and you see something below you. You can drop a pin there and then continue on your flights. You find something else, you drop a pin there. Then later on, you can push a button and it is literally gonna take you right back to that spot. You hit another button, it's gonna take you right back to the other spot. It's locked in with its GPS location. You can also make the camera just move to those spots. So the drone itself wouldn't fly to those spots. The camera would just tilt and look at those spots directly. So another really handy tool with the M30T. Next up, let's talk about waterproofing. So the drone itself is IP55 rated. Uh, the remote control actually is IP54 rated. So while neither one of them are waterproof, they are both water resistant. Uh, so that's a good thing. IP54 for the remote is gonna be a little less so in terms of water resistant, but at least it's something. It's better than the older remotes that had no IP rating whatsoever. So in some cases you could fly the drone uh, in, in a little bit of moisture, but you couldn't actually stand outside with the remote control and fly because it would ruin the remote. So the IP rating on both the drone and the remote is a really important thing. Okay, finally, let's talk about the operating temperatures. The drone itself can go from negative four to 122 degrees above Fahrenheit. So negative four to positive 122. So it can handle all sorts of weather, which is a good thing. The batteries are functional from negative four up to 104. So while the drone is functional up to 122, the batteries are only functional up to 104. So you need to be careful with your drone batteries that you're not pushing them as hard as you are pushing the drone, which is impossible because you need the batteries to run the drone. Okay, that's all we've got for you today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, especially because you're watching me sweat, uh, which can't be very pleasant in general, but we appreciate you stopping by. We appreciate you hitting like and subscribe and that little bell as well, because apparently that means something in the whole YouTube algorithm, and we appreciate that. We will see you next time.